Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I want to make a painting that is basically two canvases and I saw that from a lady that is in one of my Facebook groups and I'm not sure that she has a YouTube channel but I'm gonna mention her name in the description to give her the credit. Um, what I'm gonna do is use some blues but also as I have them always uh, I'm gonna use some nails. I could be a bit tricky because they're transparent, but at the end we're going to see what comes out of it. So I hope you enjoy it. First of all, I'm going to put the colors, um, the different paint colors, into a paper cup because it's going to be a little bit like a tree ring pour, and it's very practical if you can put a little nozzle in it that it flows out better than just the big opening that you normally have. I'm not gonna mix the colors, I'm gonna try to put them in there like like a bit like a puddle pour. Also to consider is the color wheel. Most of these colors don't really go well together, of course you have neons, um, but yeah if you mix orange with pink that's not really a good color. If I mix my um, my self-made uh, purple with green that's not a good color so that's a bit tricky always in tree ring pour so I'm gonna try to be as careful as possible to put it in and I'm gonna put the neon at the bottoms and the other more on top and hoping that it separates a bit when I pour it out and for the rest just trying it really careful So there is a full cup now. I don't see anything of the blue, but who knows where it went to. Uh, yeah, it's all transparent, so the colors already start to mix up a bit. But now I'm going to pour it. There is a brush in the middle that it doesn't all pull through because, yeah, like, as meant, like I mentioned, it's going to be two canvases.
So I think that's it from process-wise. Um, yeah, I think there should be no silicon in there. There is no silicon, and you see cells anyway, because that has to do with density and what goes to the bottom, what comes to the top. I'm pretty sure that this is still going to change because of the transparent colors, but it really pops so far. If you put the the white around it, make sure you don't just put it like on top, put it under the existing paint, then it re gives really cool effects also like there. I should have uh, eventually done it a little bit more irregular. It looks, looks a bit static to me, but perhaps that's me. And I'm going to torch it anyway because there's a lot of air bubbles in there. If you put yeah, paint under something, obviously you're going to get air bubbles. I don't know if you can see that, but here a lot of little air bubbles popped and I have to say I don't like it at all. So if you also don't want this flowing pa pattern destroyed by little holes popping from air bubbles, I would advise to eventually only torch the, vi the white. Uh, that should also be sufficient. And yeah, have a look at the description for the link to my social media platforms and also to the original artist for this technique and I hope to see you back soon.